All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. It is time for another review. So say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Logging TV, and let's get started with this review of the Rosecraft Blades. There you go, Rosecraft Blades. And this is the, well, you see the green Alenta. And there is the number on that. Uh, very, very cool basic box, but really, really cool. Rosecraft, uh, a company that's uh, in America, but the knives are being made in China. But still, I mean, just super cool designs coming out from these guys. And this one uh, obviously comes by way of my buddy, Big Red EDC. This one will be going into the Apex Pass Around group to the next guy. But JB, let me check these out. Thanks, JB. And guys, go check out Big Red EDC. And by the way, if you're not subscribed to my channel, Nice Fast, or his uh, Big Red EDC. Check them out, sub, and hit those notification bells. So this is the Green G10 Alenta from uh, Blue, Blue Craft, but <laughs> Rose Craft Blades. I'm going to talk about Blue Creek Knives in a minute. Oh, Lord. Um, you do have uh, flat G10 scales with uh, nice texturing. You have a white pivot collar with a black pivot. Um, interesting that the pivot is black and the screws back here are, are silver, uh, but I think it looks pretty cool. It gives it kind of a, a really nice accent. Now, you do have a chamfer here uh, inward, which is really cool. Uh, no weight reduction on the inside, but we'll talk more about that. Uh, a little springier pocket clip than the chonk had. Um, it is a deep... Let me close this. I'm going to cut myself. I feel it. a little bit, a deep carry clip, but again, you have a little bit sticking out of here. No big deal. Uh, good retention in the pocket. No problems there. Rosecraft written on the clip. Um, and these edges are uh, kind of contour. I mean, chamfered off. Um, you know, they're not 90 degrees. They're knocked down, as you can see. And uh, by the way, like I always say, even when the screws are, you know, all the way down, um, you do get a little bit, you do feel the screws a little bit when there's a, a contour, as you can see there, a chamfer uh, through there. You got two barrel spacers and a rotating lanyard post. Um, very, very cool. And uh, you, the clip sits on the scales with um, uh, flat screws and it will go on the other side. So it is a ambidextrous clip. Uh, you do have a uh, flipper tab, no jimping on it, but again, it's it's uh, in such a way that it grabs a hold of your finger unless you just miss it um, and it flips right open. Good action on it, decent uh, detent, no problems there. Likes, uh, and, and by the way, the detent feels wonderful with the uh, thumb studs. Plenty of room to get your fingers in there and flip it open. Good lock bar access, so you have a little bit more room on those thumb studs on the right side uh, than you do on the left side, uh, which is pretty typical. Sorry, lefties, uh, but you adapt, of course. Uh, I can, uh, well, I say I can, let's see. Yep, I can middle finger flick it. Like I said, the detent is pretty good. Um, I can middle finger flick it with the thumb stud. Very good. Um, excellent, excellent. Now you do have a nice, um, uh, you know, you do have a nice um, sharpening choil there. It, there is, um, you can see the plunge comes a little bit close, but I don't think you're going to have problems with that. It is a stonewash blade. It kind of has this drop point with a little bit of trailing going on there. Uh, Rosecraft on that side, and I cannot, uh, Chase, I think is the name of the designer of this one, but I cannot remember his name. So we're going to run over here to uh, Rosecraft's website real quick. So I don't, hopefully we got his name on here. Oh, come on. Uh, Chase Snyder, thank you. So you got the S for Snyder there, uh, RCM004. Wow, that I saved that one. There you go. Uh, nice thumb studs. They are uh, pretty high, but not a big problem for me. Uh, comes right on down. You can see now um, the tip is is close to the end, uh, as you can see. So, it, but it does give you because of this extra bit of of um, handle out here. You do kind of get a little bit of a feeling that the blade is is too small. Uh, for, you know, like a, a little blade to handle ratio thing there, but it's not. I mean, it's right there at the end. Um, it's just a, tr uh, you know, a shape they chose to go with here. Now, it is a four finger knife. The one thing for me, 
uh, is my finger is landing right on that bump. Um, it's not a big deal. You do feel it. If I were to bear down, I definitely feel that coming right into my hand. Uh, and partially because that's a little bit of a 90 right there. And just if it were knocked down just a little bit more, I think it would be perfect. Now, I can relax my finger and kind of come out like this. And now that feels a lot better. Um, and that's how I've been holding it. Is, is if I, you know, I like to have a nice tight grip on a knife. That's just me. But if I relax and sort of come back a little bit, it actually feels really, really nice. Nice thumb landing spot here. You chamfered off on both sides. And so you have a nice, uh, nice, nice, uh, whoa, okay. I was trying to get to my cardboard and I knocked my camera. Sorry about that, guys. You went for a ride there. Um, so here's the cardboard. And again, this is kind of what I've been using. I mean, guys, butter. Um, so again, let's just do one more cause I didn't do a good one there. There we go. So I came out at the end. See, I'm still not doing a good job. I'm terrible. No, I'm kidding. Nice, clean. Look at that. Very, very clean. Uh, it is a thin, uh, it comes down to a nice thin edge, good thin stock to begin with comes down to a nice thin edge. Let's talk about specs a little bit here. Oh, wait, I forgot a couple things. Number one. Uh, this one is centered. Uh, very, very good. Uh, the lockup is about a 15 to 20 there for me. Again, great access. Um, and the um, we talked about the detent on the other one. You got to come to right about here for this one. So basically, let the, let the flipper tab drop to your thumb. Shake it down very, very nicely. Uh, as far as lockup, there's a tiny bit of blade play in this one. Uh, but no lock rock whatsoever. Very, very nicely done. Now, this one is about uh, 3.8 ounces, which is fine for me. I like that. Um, by the way, Alenta is play, it's a play on the Latin word lento, which means curve or bend. Uh, so that's where you get that. Uh, ambidextrous pocket clip, 4.8 inches closed, 8.1 overall, 3.3 inch RPM9. Now, we don't know who's making these for sure. Uh, but RPM9 Steel is a proprietary artisan CJRB thing. Uh, and this actually gives me CJRB vibes, uh, especially with that um, the rotating lanyard post there. So I believe I believe these are made by CJRB Artisan, but I don't know that for sure. Uh, but very nicely done. That's a compliment. Uh, CJRB and Artisan make great knives, and this is well done. And again, you can see action-wise... Just very nice. All right, let's talk about our comparison knives. Our friends, the Ontario Rat 1 and the Ontario Rat 2. I think these are going to be my pretty much permanent uh, comparison knives unless I decide to use something else, which I might. You never know. Um, a little bit shorter. I mean, a little bit longer than the Rat 2, uh, especially in the handle. This is what I was talking about, guys. It's like uh, with the pivots lined up, you can see... It's just got a little more handle, um, you know, that extra little bit to give it that the shape that they wanted, I guess. Uh, blade wise, it's it's eh, it's a little bit shorter than the Rat Two, uh, and handle wise, it's about the same. So again, that kind of shows the same thing there. So there you go. There is our comparison knives. Now uh, these are available uh, both on Rosecraft Blaze website and on at other dealers, and you guys know. Uh, I'm going to talk about our friend Brian from Blue Creek Knives. Now, he has all three. The two limited editions, which is the Jade with the uh, two-tone black and silver blade and the black and red with the two-tone black and silver blade. And then this, which is the normal not limited edition, which means it'll be around. Uh, they'll restock these and so on and so forth. Uh, he's got all three of these for $62.00. You can use my link in the description, which is simply bluecreekknives.com slash knivesfast and get 10% off at checkout. Uh, it should auto-populate the code that says knivesfast and you'll get 10% off. So really, really cool. I'm digging these. Uh, can't wait to show you more of their knives down the road. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Rosecraft Alinta, guys. Uh, give me a thumbs up and let me know uh, what you think down in the comments. And guys, I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.